Hi, my name is Kathleen, and I'm going to be critiquing one of my competitors. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, so this is a competitor that I wanted to look after because I thought it was one of the kind of one of the templates that me and my partner wanted to go for. Um, so right off the bat, I really like that they gave just like options in Denver, Colorado, and it was different types like houses and you can view more, which I thought was really cool. Um, me and my partner incorporated that in our app of having, once you upload it, it'll have all the options up. Um, tips for renters, yeah, I thought that was a cool. They also have a mobile version with multiple platforms, which that we were looking at. Um, it was a lot of them actually, other, our other competitors either only had mobile or desktop, so that's cool. Uh, search bar, we have a search bar incorporated in ours. Um, our critique for is for that I see is when it says like apartments for rent, it's giving options for other places out of Colorado. So like Austin, Tampa, Hoboken, which is cool if you're looking for other living situations that are not in Colorado, but doesn't look like you could really like, if I didn't want to live in these areas, I can't really change that. And same for homes and same for condos. They're just giving different places around the United States, which I think is still pretty cool. But like, if I didn't want to live in Virginia Beach looking for specific condos for rent, I can't really change that option over here unless I specifically put it in the main search bar. So that's a curious feature that they have added. Um, they do have safe searches and a favorite section, which I we wanted to incorporate that also. So you can go back and refer to your information. Letting that load. You have to put in normal information, uh, which makes sense. So it can save past things. I'm not going to because I'm not really looking for houses right now, but for searching, it comes up with a lot of options. And it's pretty specific, which is really nice if you you need specifics when you're house hunting. And lease length, which I thought was cool and including features and stuff. And I was thinking that'd be a good idea of something to incorporate in our app is more details on the individual houses. Um, Yes. Oh, also they offer schools that are nearby, which I think is a really cool feature incorporated in their app. Um, people who are looking for houses or apartments could have kids, so it would be nice to have information if they were near school or anything, which I think is pretty interesting. I also think what's a cool feature is their, they have a walk score and a transit, which is really nice. Uh, most of the other apps I looked at pretty much only gave like what houses were available in the market. I feel like this website does really good at giving you a lot of information so you can really nitpick certain details. And it's also near University of Denver. And I just like distance wise drive, it gives you so much information, even like different options of schools and information and shopping centers parks and rec, military, airports. I think that's brilliant to add to you when you're looking for housing. Um, overall, the, this website's like super easy to use. I like understand how to use it. Um, I like how it's set it up. It looks like it has special features added into it, which I think is really cool. Um, I think it really sets itself apart and being unique because other other apps I was looking at and websites kind of had the same, like all the information, they literally just say housing listed, uh, pricing, they didn't have like the extra, like how far would be from this and here are the schools nearby, which I think is really cool that they incorporated it. But overall, I really like the app slash desktop version. Um, I think it's really interactive. I think it's user friendly. Uh, I don't think I'm necessarily the target market but my pretty much my only complaint is that when they give you apartments, homes, and condos for rent in the drawdown bar, that it only lists 
certain areas, but you can tweak it because I changed it. But I just thought it was weird originally where it would have um, just random places to go to. But I think overall, this is a really good website slash app. So, yeah. I'm going to... Thank you.